Okay, I want to uh, uh, greet you. I want you to greet you to Mitchisagi territory, which is Mississauga to you, which is uh, Nishnava Nation. And uh, we welcome you here today. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, 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 the maple bush and what is done uh, with the sap that we gather. Uh, I work with uh, students that do this, and uh, so I'd like I'd like to just uh, uh, just to say off, offhand that uh, that uh, I welcome you here. My name is Gidega Megizi, in the language, and my English name is Doug Williams. I'm from Curve Lake First Nation, and that. Uh, and my clan is a Pike clan. From the early times, uh, we knew how to do uh, sap through a couple of stories that we've, we've retained over time. The earliest one that I can find, and I've heard from the old ones, was that uh, it was through dreaming of one person uh, that it came to them of uh, how to work the maple tree who would be giving sap every year at springtime. This man was dreaming about what we call the little people, uh, uh who are uh, beings and spirit beings that live here with us at the same time as we live here, but on a different plane, and, uh, and come from to us from another reality. Right? Uh, in the modern context, this is kind of hard to understand, but it, we still pay homage to our ability to be able to do this kind of thing, right? To be able to retrieve from them. They they're helpers. They don't harm us. And they helped us in this instance through telling us about how to do maple. Uh, and so on. So this Anishinaabe who dreamt this uh, then told others and from there they were able to work it out and we see now what we are able to do with it today. Now the other stories uh, which talk about how uh, this work came to us is through the uh, stories that we, we uh, hear uh, of this spirit human we call Nanabojo. Nanabojo was a, this uh, mainly spirit who helped uh, creation take place uh, and made sure that uh, what we know today uh, was uh, happening uh, and, and in a smooth, uh, smooth way. Because uh, apparently in the old days, when creation was happening, it was a difficult time. Uh, it wasn't easy. But anyway, down the road, uh, after creation took place, Nana Bush, uh, who would help us with these things, uh, saw uh, Anishinaabeg laying on the ground under a tree. And, uh, and they were uh, drinking directly from a drip from the tree uh, and he thought what are they doing so he kind of nudged them a little bit so what are you doing this as well we were drinking this sweet water that is uh, coming down off the tree and the story is told that in the early days 
uh, the sap that came out of the tree was uh, nearly, uh, uh, is already made into syrup, right? So what happened was that the, our people got lazy because they didn't need to, they felt they didn't need to go out and hunt and, and uh, forage and, and, uh, and get food. So they got lazy. So that was a big worry for, for Nanabush because he said that cannot be, that cannot happen. So what he did, he thought of a way of getting the Anishinaabe off this uh, lazy mode that they were into. They're getting fat from the syrup. They didn't felt the, it's a, it's a near complete food, by the way. It can make you survive for a long period of time. Now, so Nanabush thought of a way of, uh, of uh, see if he can uh, change the habit of laying on the ground and drinking the sap. So what he did, he went down to the creek and got a pail of water. And he climbed the tree with a pail of water. And his thinking was, if I pour back down the tree, it's going to thin out this, the uh, sap or syrup. So he did that, he was able to do that. He, he figured out a way to get it into the tree, uh, from the top of the tree, and he poured it in. So the sap thinned. And uh, so he was able to come down and so on, but he was able to thin it to the point where then Nishnabha found it really too thin to kind of do something with it. So they said, well, we're going to have to make it into syrup or sugar in order for us to be able to enjoy it. So out of that, through trial and error, they were able to boil it. And they knew uh, that it, 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 this boiling takes the steam away from the sap and uh, breaks it down to a consistency of syrup again. And uh, so, and, and Nana Bojo helped them to do that. That's the other thing is that he, uh, he was able to, uh, instead of having it happen all year, he was uh, only able, we we're now only able to get sap uh, a certain time of year in the springtime. We call Siguan. Spring is Siguan, Siguanon. Now Siguan, remember, is a spirit herself. And we, uh, we depend on her to be able to, every year, make the sap flow from the maple tree. So that's one of the stories that, uh, that we tell in terms of, there are others, there are other stories, but for today, we'll just leave it at those two stories of how uh, this came to Nishnabha. The older ones, my elders uh, uh, did this, they spent a lot of time at it in the spring and they would have a camp where all the family would go. Uh, the men would trap muskrats in my day and the women would run these, these uh, maple uh, bushes along with the kids. Uh, it's a time of year of celebration. It's after a, a winter of near starvation. This, this was a welcome activity. Uh, along with this syrup and sugar, coupled with uh, food like the muskrat, uh, things started to look up in the springtime, right? And so that's, uh, we credit the spirit of Siguan for this, for bringing this to us, right? So we're in, we're in the stage of Siguan at the moment, which is roughly Siguan corresponds with the maple season, right? And right after that uh, is what we call Minokumi, which is when this finishes, the buds want to come out, the snow is gone on the ground, so we call that Minokumi, which is another spirit that's going to bring on growth. Right? So we have two seasons, we always say, with spring. Siguan, or Siguanung, which is a time of, or Minokame. And uh, again, we 
we have uh, much ceremony and celebration at that time of year, uh, especially thank you ceremonies, which we have a less of, by the way, nowadays. Like when I was a kid, that was a that was a, something that we did and enjoyed it. There's always a message you have to do it, but there's also uh, the reward of it, right? It's a it's a beautiful time. So, but what we would get from this is that it it's been with us a long time. I mean, Nana Bojo, we cannot uh, really say in terms of actual time uh, how long Nana Bojo was here, uh, and uh, uh, it could have been just after glaciation, which is eight thousand years ago. Uh, who knows? Uh, but we we talk about it in terms of being way back, way back when.